Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Ariana Grande songs. For this list, we'll be looking at the star's best tunes based on commercial performance, critical success, and fan favorite status. Which of these songs deserves the top position? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. 3435 Remix featuring Doja Cat and Megan Thee Stallion. Positions is filled with pretty string sounds, and its second single is no exception. Despite the song's Disney-like orchestration, Grande and her co-writers decided to take a less kid-friendly path for the lyrics. With reference after reference to bedroom activities, the song marks one of the singer's most mature tunes, but the remix featuring two of today's most exciting rappers upped the ante. While the original music video portrayed Grande as a scientist, the second clip brought three megastars together under one roof. Netflix or Hulu, baby, you choose. I'm up like Starbucks, three pumps. Oops. From ordering room service to a classic pillow fight scene, the trio's hotel slumber party made us incredibly jealous. Number 19, In My Head. Grande's fifth album deals candidly with the topic of her previous relationships. Painted a picture, I thought I knew you well. I gotta have it. I've seen what isn't there. The lead single makes matters obvious, but in other cases, it's hard to tell whom the singer is referencing. My to in My Head is one such case, with lyrics about seeing what she wants to see in a lover. Over a sparse, trap influenced beat, Grande's chorus vocals are vulnerable and haunting. But it was all in my head. The song wasn't a single, but it did get a memorable visual thanks to Vogue. As part of Ari's cover story, the artist appeared in a minimalistic video set in a white room. The simple clip couldn't be more perfect for a tune about sitting alone with one's own thoughts. Number 18. Honeymoon Avenue The first song on an artist's debut album has unique importance. Although the stakes may have been high, Honeymoon Avenue certainly rose to the occasion. The tune opens with sweeping strings and some intricate background vocal harmonies. By the time Ari joins in, the track is clearly headed in an adventurous direction. I feel like my heart is stuck in ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba traffic. Honeymoon wasn't released as a single, perhaps since the unusual flourishes in its production were more suited to careful listening. In any case, fans have been rewarded with live performances of the deep cut on Grande's tours. Evidently, the singer herself has love for this underappreciated gem. Number 17, Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. If the title track on Thank You Next is a tale of growth and compassion, this is something different. You got me some type of way. Just to finish this way. The final tune on the album finds Grande wishing her crush would get single, stat. With the help of some candid lyrics, the star makes her intentions known, and her confidence is something to behold. Break up with your girlfriend. The song's steamy premise comes across in the video, in which Ari pines for a guy who's already taken. Funnily enough, his girlfriend looks quite a bit like the singer herself. Although it isn't hinted at in the words, we see an apparent attraction blossom between the two women as well. This isn't Ariana's only sultry jam, but it is one of her best. Number 16, The Way, featuring Mac Miller. 
this wasn't technically Ari's first ever release. However, it undoubtedly marks a pivotal moment in her come up. One of the most heartwarming aspects of this tune is the unforgettable verse from the late Mac Miller. I'm thinking about her every second, every hour, do my singing in the shower, picking petals off the flowers. He and Ari would embark on a romantic relationship, which influenced some of the songstress's later work. But on the way, and in its video, the duo exudes joy in a truly infectious way. With a catchy piano sample and some skyscraping vocals from Grande, the tune has everything you could want in a lead single. Comparisons to Mariah Carey abounded, but Ari was paving her own way. Number 15. Imagine this was the only promotional single from Thank You Next, and it didn't get an epic music video. However, it did get the spotlight during multiple live performances. Grande described the song as being about, quote, a simple, beautiful love that is now and forever unattainable. She also addressed how it related to the theme of denial on Instagram. Fans have speculated that the song has to do with Grande's relationship with the late Mac Miller in particular. Imagine a world like that. Imagine a world. In any case, the tune is filled to the brim with longing, thanks to fantasizing about a perfect love. The song is also notable for featuring Grande's rarely used yet incredibly impressive whistle register. <laughs> Number 14, Side to Side featuring Nicki Minaj. Long before 3435, Grande gifted us this racy banger from her third album. Side to Side marked the singer's third collaboration with the Queen of Rap after Bang Bang and Minaj's Get On Your Knees. The video is instantly memorable, depicting a day at a not so average gym with a fluorescent visual aesthetic. Although Grande's vocals are on point, the highlight of the reggae pop tune may be Nicki's verse. The rapstress begins with a more laid-back flow, but speeds up to deliver zinger after zinger. She ends her feature with the line, Young Ariana Run Pop, and she's still right. Gun pop, and I make my gun pop. I'm the queen of rap, young Ariana Run Pop. Number 13, No Tears Left to Cry. Right now, instead of mine. Ari is never afraid to draw from diverse genres, and this lead single combines dance pop instrumentation with elements of UK garage. Don't how, what, what, who tries it, we out here vibing. Although its feel is upbeat, the song touches on tragic events that took place during Grande's Dangerous Woman tour. Right now, The lyrics detail the singer's positive mindset and an intention to move past hardships, ideas we can all take to heart. Just as memorable as the tune itself is the futuristic video. Employing a revolving hallway trick reminiscent of a Fred Astaire dance routine, the clip is both trippy and beautiful. Its wide shots of far-flung cityscapes perfectly complemented the song's epic sound. Number 12, Positions. The title track from Grande's sixth album is an ode to switching things up in relationships. Heaven, to, me. to no fan's surprise, it debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, marking the star's fifth chart topper. Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday. The song combines plucked strings with trap-influenced percussion, making for a laid-back listening experience. But Grande is anything but laid-back in the music video. The visual makes clear that the position she's talking about is actually the presidency. As such, we see the singer in boardrooms, the Oval Office, and even the White House kitchen. Ooh, 
Although the lyrics might seem focused on a romantic affair, the clip takes them in a new and memorable direction. Number 11. Dangerous Woman One of Ari's most impressive performances ever wasn't on stage or even in the studio. Rather, it took place against a plain beige background in front of a video crew and was posted to the artist's YouTube. Makes me feel like a dangerous woman. That a cappella performance of Dangerous Woman, the lead single from the album of the same name, helped make the tune unforgettable. The smoldering slow jam combines Grande's pop vocals with a soulful, mid-tempo groove. It showed off a new and more rock-oriented sound, demonstrating once again that the singer could switch between genres with ease. A searing guitar solo is just the cherry on top. Number 10. One Last Time Grande's second album is truly chock-full of bangers. But not every song strikes a balance between emotional sincerity and an epic sound like One Last Time. I was a liar, I gave into the fire. While Ari tenderly voices feelings of regret in the verses, she belts out a plea for love on the chorus. So I I when it comes to capturing dramatic emotions, Galloping drums and bouncy synths don't hurt either. The beloved tune was actually released three separate times. Firstly, it was marketed as a promo and then a regular single during the My Everything album cycle. Then, it took on the form of a charity single in 2017 after the tragic events of Grande's Manchester concert. The heartfelt track remains powerful no matter its context, making it a standout in the singer's catalog. Number 9. Breathe In The Sweetener album followed some serious turmoil for Grande. Some days, things just take way too much of my energy. It made sense then that its singles would spread some important messages. Breathe In takes anxiety as its focus. Not exactly typical pop song fare. Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. But the star transforms the topic of mental health into a true banger with a danceable beat. As the singer repeats the song's title in the chorus, it becomes an empowering affirmation. The video certainly captures the feeling of being overwhelmed as Grande curls up on the floor of a busy train station. But in the song, and its visual alike, what emerges is a feeling of hope. Number 8. Problem, featuring Iggy Azalea Every single off of Ari's My Everything was a bona fide hit. But was any quite as replayable or inescapable as this duet? The tune brought the angel-voiced diva together with burgeoning hip-hop star Iggy Azalea. But we can't forget Grande's one-time boyfriend Big Sean, who appears in the video to boot. The song boasts a repeating saxophone line that is a true earworm, but the pre-chorus is arguably the most notable part. As Grande's vocals build to an explosive peak, listeners might expect a hook featuring ever higher octane singing. But instead, we're treated to a whispered refrain from a different voice entirely. The moment makes for a pitch-perfect fakeout. Number 7. Seven Rings Now, where do we know that melody from? The second single from Thank You Next borrows heavily from My Favorite Things, made famous in the stage and screen versions of The Sound of Music. Oh 
Although that Rogers and Hammerstein panned tune has a tone of childlike wonder, you wouldn't know it from Seven Rings. The trappy song is also about retail therapy, but Grande's shopping list isn't exactly full of stocking stuffers. Referencing luxuries like champagne and diamonds, the song is about making and spending lots and lots of money. But it's also about friendship and spoiling those you love. We can all get behind that, even if our budgets aren't quite the same. Number 6. Love Me Harder with The Weeknd Ari and this Canadian crooner have memorably collaborated on the likes of Off the Table and a remix of Save Your Tears. But Love Me Harder is the tune that kicked off their fruitful musical relationship, one of the most sultry tracks on Grande's second album. The lyrics tell a story of upping the ante in a relationship. Can you feel the pressure the lyrics are a bit more suggestive than we were used to hearing from the songstress, which made the tune feel fresh. To no one's surprise, both singers nailed their parts, with their voices melding beautifully above throbbing synth sounds. Number 5. Break Free, featuring Zed. With this single, Ariana made the transition from pop and R&B songstress to bona fide dance floor diva. With a message of coming into one's own and embracing freedom, the tune is considered by some as an LGBTQ plus anthem. This is the part when I say I don't want it. I'm the EDM-influenced track features stabbing synths and a driving rhythm, while the singer shows off soaring vocals. This club hit peaked at number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100, making Grande the second ever woman to have three top 10 singles at the same time. With the Space Age video embracing a futuristic theme, it was clear that the song marked an exciting departure. Number 4. God is a Woman when all is said and done, you believe God is a woman. This single nabbed a Grammy nomination for Best Pop Solo Performance, and Grande's vocal work is no doubt to thank. We always expect her to nail the high notes, but she has plenty more to show here. In addition to her quiet, rapid-fire rap singing on this tune's pre-chorus, the singer acts as her own choir at the song's conclusion. Grande's live versions of God is a Woman were no less memorable. Who could forget her performance at the 2018 MTV VMAs? The star imagined an all-female version of The Last Supper and concluded the number by bringing out her own family. Epic does not even begin to cover it. Number 3. POV We love Ariana on a dance track, but boy can she bring a ballad to life. Some critics named this R&B-tinged tearjerker as their favorite off of positions, and we don't blame them. Amidst airy textures and gorgeous harmonies, Grande sings about wanting to rediscover herself through her partner's eyes. Although the single didn't get the standard music video treatment, it was complemented with a lyric and dance clip. The sparse visual showcases some serious chemistry between its two leads. We don't get to see Ari herself, but the song's theme of unconditional and life-altering love comes through clearly. Number 2. 
Number two, Into You. Finger snaps and a soft, understated vocal introduce us to this absolute banger from Dangerous Woman. I'm so into you, I can barely breathe. The anticipation builds as Grande sings about her desire for her lover. Oh, baby, look what you started. The temperature's rising. By the time the chugging synths arrive, we're already on the dance floor. The album's second single was acclaimed by critics, and there's no wondering why. With an earworm of a melody and co-production by hitmaker Max Martin, it's practically unforgettable by design. Peaking at number 13, it didn't crack the Billboard Hot 100 Top 10, but it didn't need to. With bona fide fan favorite status, it will go down as one of Grande's hardest hitting tunes. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Bang Bang with Jessie J and Nicki Minaj. This trio really did let us have it. Right There featuring Big Sean, Grande's first collaboration with one of her most famous exes. Focus. This tune was scrapped as a lead single, but that doesn't mean it's forgettable. Be Alright. This Deep House influenced song made for an uplifting promo single. Baby Eye. Legendary songwriter Kenneth Babyface Edmonds helped pen this R&B-inspired tune. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Thank You Next some songs make a splash, and some even dominate the charts. But others seem to affect the culture in a particularly special way. Suffice it to say, this surprise released lead single falls into the latter category. Celebs usually try to keep their romantic lives private, but Ari flipped the script. She addressed not one, but several breakups with high-profile figures, all in one song. Most refreshingly, the tune wasn't at all a diss track, but demonstrated gratitude and maturity instead. Plus, the video for the much-memed song referenced some iconic teen movie moments. Ariana Grande told me my hair looks sexy pushback. She's not wrong. If there's one way to win us over, this is it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.